Hi guys, it's Lunar here with this first ever episode of 6 brand new console mods for Fallout 4. I don't know how many of these videos I will make, but I felt like playing some Fallout 4 for a while, and so I thought I'd make some Fallout 4 mod videos. In this series, I go over 6 of the newest mods out for Xbox One and PS4 every day. Usually 3 for each console if I can, although of course it's difficult to get 3 every day for PS4. If you haven't done so, I also make these videos for Skyrim, so you can check those out. Anyway, with that being said, I don't think we have to waste any time, and we could just get into looking at our first mod. Our first mod is called Buildable Guards. This mod lets you construct guards of every main faction for caps, so it's around a thousand caps. They are categorised in the workshop menu under defence, guards and factions, and so you can craft them like anything else in your settlements. Guards will remain stationary with their weapon drawn until they engage in combat. Guards will return to the spot where they were constructed if they are moved away too far. Guards also count towards your settlement's defence rating of course, hence the reason why they are found under the defence category at the workbench, and they seem to spawn just with random weapons and armour and stuff. The different faction types that you get currently are the Brotherhood of Steel, Minutemen, Institute, Railroad and Leon's Pride. The mod is already awesome and plans to add more stuff in the future, like more factions, vertebrates and patrolling guards as well. It's a really cool mod, I like it because it adds in more people into your settlements as well, but doesn't count towards your settlement limit, so that's really cool. Next up we have No Smoking. This mod removes almost all instances of smoking and tobacco products from Fallout 4. It is designed at user requests for people who don't want to see any of these products in their game. So what does the mod actually change? Well, idle smoking animations for NPCs have been replaced, and that's been replaced by the military pose animation. Cigarettes, cigars, ashtrays and lighters have been replaced by other junk items with unique names and the same junk components. So collector cards, damage magazines, coffee mugs, watches and stuff like that. Posters in the environment for cigarettes have been replaced by other posters. Cigarette machines renamed to vending machines, but with an unaltered model so they still look like cigarette machines, they've just been changed. And standing ashtrays replaced by potted plants. What isn't changed is the San Francisco sunlight that forms part of the main questline are unchanged to avoid the issue with quests, and posters placed by the player in workshop mods from DLC are unchanged. So if you want to get rid of smoking in the game, or most of it anyway, then download this mod. Next up we have a really awesome weapon, and it's the SVT-40 semi-automatic battle rifle, a Russian service rifle used a lot in World War II to fight the Nazis. The weapon does 103 damage and holds a 10 round detachable magazine, it has a fire rate of 50, a range of 197 and accuracy of 96. So what that all means basically is that it sacrifices the damage and range of something like the Overseer's Guardian or the Hunting Rifle, but has a much higher fire rate, so it kind of balances out and makes it just as good as those weapons. For attachments at the workbench you get a choice of four scopes, ten receivers, two magazines, two muzzles, a bayonet or suppressor, four tapes that come in ten different colours, it also comes with four different finishes and twelve different stickers to decorate it as well. To get the weapon, well, you can either find it in the game's level list, so at vendors and stores after level 16, craft it at the chem station, and you can also find two legendary variants in the world as well, Azirius and Krasnaya Zima with their own custom stuff, so an awesome weapon mod overall. Our next mod is the USS Quincy Player Home, a mod that has been out for ages on Xbox One but only a few days on PS4 so that's why I'm covering it, so we can take a look. The USS Quincy is a Minuteman outpost located just south of Warwick Homestead. Help defend her from a pirate attack and gain access to your new workshop and quarters below deck. The Minutemen recently refitted her as an outpost and base of operation to reclaim Quincy. Here are all the features that the mod actually adds. Full unrestricted workbench. You can build anything that fits below the ceiling, so it's like a brand new settlement for you to live in. Linked workbench storage, same goes for any new workbench that you build. Tons of unique storage containers. Wind power, so five large turbines provide shipwide ambient and wired power. Scrap everything below deck with the exception of the floors, hull, stairs and red workbench, and you can redecorate it any way that you want to. Scrapping everything gives you roughly 1k of each component and an assortment of Minutemen weapon and armours. And yes, you can scrap the crew as well. There's a total of 15 unique crew members and animals. NPCs above deck are protected, so you can only kill them. They will respawn in a week or so though. NPCs below deck are killable, and you can get ready for a fight as they're quite strong, or you can scrap them as well, and they don't respawn. Six vendors with unique and randomized respawning inventory. The voice dialogue is recycled from existing in-game files, of course, as this is for PS4. Full crew info duties are available on e this medical terminal, and three unique legendary weapons hidden aboard for treasure hunters. Finally, don't forget the lovely views of the southeast Boston from the rigging above. So if you're looking for an awesome player home and settlement, check out this mod. Next up we have table lamps. The mod adds 17 working table lamps to the power lights category of the settlement workshop. 
More specifically, there are five basic types of lamps and several variations, like clean, dirty, or with and without lampshades. Most of these you'll have seen in the base game as junk items or in the prologue, so before the bomb hit, and the mod author has converted them into working lamps based on the shadeless blue table lamp and the yellow table lamp from the Wasteland Workshop DLC. So you get loads of different cool ones and there's like a Nuka Cola bottle one, there's different vault buy ones as well. So I'd also mod as there's not very many table lamps in the game actually for your settlements, so this is a cool mod to download. Our final mod is called Charles Overhaul, a mod that overhauls loads of stuff in game. All the weapons, armor, animals and companions have been changed and modified. There is way too much to list out everything, but here are the biggest changes. All weapons have had adjustments to their bullet range, rate of fire, out of range multiplier, striking damage, striking speed and striking range. All weapons have received changes to their base damage for a better sense of realism and gunplay. All ballistic weapons will cause bleed out damage for short periods. Red laser weapons will now deal additional heat damage and have a small chance to ignite the target's clothing. Blue laser weapons will deal additional electrical damage. Gamma guns deal real damage and now only carry 3 shots, however each shot will be more impactful. Goss rifle now only holds one shot, but will annihilate anything. The alien blaster is now awesome, but it is significantly nerfed with the ammo converter it is attached. Melee weapons now all have varying chances to disarm targets. All armor has been vastly changed to create a sense of diversity between armor types and their various upgradable pieces. Settlements will now produce more junk when scavengers are assigned, so that's really cool. Guard towers will now offer higher defense rating. Animals will now seem tankier during fights. Insects will now do more damage, but they're easier to kill. Power armor is now better, but is completely vulnerable to electrical damage and EMPs. Power armor will now allow the player to sprint much faster, as a means to improve the game's lack of convenient transport, like a horse or a car, and stim packs have been changed from restoring a small percentage of your health to a large health regen briefly. So a really awesome mod. Well there we have it guys, our first 6 brand new Fallout 4 console mods. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back again soon with more Fallout 4 and Skyrim mod videos. Until then though, stay awesome and I'll see you guys next time.